Our last animation is going to take us inside the leaves of plants. Photosynthesis is a complex process and all of it is taking place inside those little leaves on the plants. Here we have a beautiful grassy field and in that field is a beautiful big tree. And as we've learned from previous animations, we know some of the important chemicals involved in the photosynthesis equation. Here's some rain or some water molecules that just fell from the sky. We know that the roots of the plant are going to take in those H2O molecules and send them to the leaves. Another important part of the photosynthesis equation is CO2 gas. This carbon dioxide is exhaled from animals and taken into the plant through the leaves. Once sunlight hits the leaves of plants, the process of photosynthesis can happen. And as it happens, O2 molecules leave the plant through the leaves. This oxygen gas fills the atmosphere and makes it possible for us to breathe. Also, glucose molecules are made in the process of photosynthesis. These large, complex molecules stay within the plant and the plant uses the energy to grow. Ah, now let me take you inside the leaves of plants and let's view what's happening inside the chloroplasts of every single plant cell. All chloroplasts know the photosynthesis equation which shows water plus carbon dioxide making glucose and oxygen. The plants take in water and they take in carbon dioxide. Then, with the help of the sun, the plant breaks apart those molecules into the individual atoms. Here we have two hydrogens, one oxygen from the water molecule, we have one carbon atom, and two oxygen atoms from the carbon dioxide. Now, the plant needs to make this large glucose molecule, but it doesn't have enough atoms yet. So, it takes in, so to help make that glucose molecule, the plant takes in more water and more carbon dioxide. Then, with the help of the sun, it breaks those molecules apart into their individual atoms. Now remember, the plant is trying to make a glucose molecule. A glucose molecule is large and contains six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. The plant doesn't have enough atoms yet, so it has to take in more water and more carbon dioxide. More water and more carbon dioxide are added into the leaf of the plant. And again, with the help of the sun, once those molecules are broken apart, the individual atoms are counted. We still don't have enough individual atoms to make a glucose molecule. So the plant must take in more water and carbon dioxide. More water molecules and more carbon dioxide molecules enter the leaves of the plant. Then, once again, with the help of the sun, all those molecules are broken out into their individual atoms. We finally have enough atoms to make one glucose molecule. So the plant, once again, relies on energy from the sun to help put that complex molecule together. There you have it, one glucose molecule containing six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygen atoms. But also in the process, two oxygen, two oxygen atoms were left over. Those two oxygen atoms bond together and form the oxygen gas that you and I breathe. Did you ever imagine that all of that was taking place inside the leaves of plants? 
it's kind of cool knowing that the sun is the driving force behind photosynthesis. Take a look at our final diagram that shows all of the elements or all of the necessary materials for the photosynthesis equation.